I've had an opportunity to meet some of the greatest entrepreneurs and inventors in the world. And you know where they come up with some of their best ideas? It's while they're on vacation or walking down the street or hanging out in the park. They get this great idea. But have you ever heard of people who are against innovation? Of course not. We're all in favor of it. It's motherhood and apple pie. We're all in favor of innovation. It's a sexy thing to talk about. So why is it that most companies cannot innovate. If everybody's in favor of it, why can't they do it? There's a very simple reason. It's called the dirty little secret about innovation. But there are many people who don't like to take risks. And that's owing to the facts that with uh, something at the wrongs, everyone is eager to tell. Very often when you have a group uh, and you say, but that is not good and so on and so on. Everyone look at, at the rest in the team and, and say, it's, but it's not my fault, it was something there. So therefore it's so important to have only one who takes the responsibility. Only people who sleep don't take risks. And uh, I myself, uh, there are few people on the earth who has made so many mistakes as I have done. But it's a question of uh, have the possibility to correct, to correct the mistake you have made. That is always allowed to, to make faults. And we do. Too many, every day. So what did we learn from Ingvar Kampfrad? Two really important things. I think the first is that you've got to make it safe for your people to innovate. You ask them to innovate, then they take an experimental approach, they have failures, and what happens? They get criticized around the water cooler or perhaps fail to get a bonus. People learn really quickly the difference between what you ask them to do and what you really mean. Takeaway number two, the environment always wins. When we create an environment where experiments can take place, where there's a whole process and a procedure and a reward system for innovation, then that's exactly what we get from our people. I think without fiascos, you will never succeed.